Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about whether you should let men make all the moves or not, and uh, the you know different masculine and feminine roles. Uh, so, but before we talk about that. If you're struggling to attract the right man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. So today's question comes from a woman in our community, and she's asking, uh, I really want to understand the changing landscape around feminine and masculine energies. As a woman, where's the line? Do we leave the men to make all the moves? And so um, the short answer is yes, you <laughs> you leave men to make all the moves. Um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take an active role in uh, this whole thing here. Um, and, and so, you know, yeah, you want to let men make the moves and, and it'll tell you a lot about how a man feels based on what kind of moves he does or doesn't make um but the role and, and you know again we're talking about masculine men right and, and the more masculine a man is the more he'll uh, want to take a role I mean, he'll want to do everything and he'll want to control everything and and uh, if you want a really masculine man, then, you know, step back and, and let him uh, do things. And, and um, if he's a little bit more feminine, you might have to kind of pry him a little bit more. Um, or if he's confused uh, about, you know, what his role is or how he should be acting, which is uh, it's, it seems to be more and more men that are in that kind of position these days. Um, but for your role as a, a woman, as being the feminine energy in the relationship, um, your role is really encouragement. And um, really what that is, is uh, showing him that you're interested, showing him that you like what he's doing, um, encouraging him to continue doing what he's doing and that just takes practice you know there's kind of a, a scale there's like one side where you're like you know showing too much interest and that can look needy um, and then there's the other side where you look way too disinterested and that you know for a guy that means for him that he thinks he's going to get dropped into the uh, just friends category which sucks um, in a lot of ways and so you know, encourage the man, encourage him to approach you, uh, encourage him to call you, encourage him to do the things that you want him to do. Uh, studies have shown uh, just in the approaching category that a man won't approach uh, over, I, I think it's over like 80% of men won't approach unless they're given some kind of signal from you because men need that encouragement. They need that invitation to come in and uh, approach you. Uh, they need to know that you're interested and if he doesn't know that you're interested then you know he won't continue to pursue you because he doesn't end up he doesn't want to end up you know just friends with you and so um yeah that's it uh be the encourager and practice it and you know and you'll get better at it the more you do it so that's it for this video. If you want more information about how to, uh, what's stopping you from attracting the right man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.